would you ever consider doing content with six now where it's no street shit it's just content vlogs whatever that shit is nah nah <laughs> I, don't see, I, don't, I don't see me collabing with him like what, what are we gonna do like Damn. i don't i don't see like i don't know like i don't see me doing anything with him you're not jacking that rat I, I, I don't watch that rap. So <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I don't know too much about that rap to even. Yeah, like, I seen that clip. That shit was so fucking good. hilarious. Yeah, that shit was fucking. It's the only rap we jacking. Yeah, that nah, shit was crazy. Wild. He said, like, we don't jack rats. But okay. it's the only. The, the problem with 6ix9ine is like, a lot. most of his content is funny. Mm hmm. He's, he's I, it, smart. He's smart. But this, I don't. Yeah. I don't think smart the six nine shit's funny. It used to be funny nah, when he made that. No, that when shit he was, was funny, crazy. When he made that skit going at Juice World, rest yeah. in peace. But he was like, "You still worried about the shadows in your rooms yeah. or bro, some he had, shit?" He had Instagram on lock, bro, bro. He was yeah. funny as fuck. But I don't see any of that anymore. He's still funny. He just like has he to lost be. Isn't, soul. It, isn't, isn't, it, isn't, soul. It, isn't it like weird now? Like his like it's, it's like yeah. it's not the same. No, nah, it ain't the same. Nah, like, that wave's over. Weird. Yeah, but the rat has been jacked. It's over. <laughs> hey, no, nah, but Bronx native, Bronx native cost not, bruh. I would be a L on the internet if I didn't ask you this question, right? Okay, talk to me. Who's the face of the Bronx? Ron Suna. Uh, nah, face. UG for sure. I, you know, I hate, I hate that. Yeah. It's like, cause I don't, cause like, why, why, um. Like comp have comp like you don't hear Atlanta, but the, the Bronx Atlanta? never had this kind of momentum behind yeah, it. The, the, Bronx the Bronx was always like way behind Brooklyn, Queens, and Manhattan yeah. in terms of like respect in New York, right? And now I feel like the Bronx is realistically probably more talked about than Brooklyn, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm a rapper now, so should I? Like, I, I <laughs> Yo, speaking <laughs> of <laughs> rapping, okay, perfect. Yo, Casa not I, but so listen, man. I, I'm a YouTube diehard stand, and who who you think is the face of, the, of New York for like oh, but, for like content creation or some shit? Cardi like B. That? Uh, well, no. Uh, oh, who, yeah, who you think? Right here. So like, rapping is use G's. Content creation definitely you. Now here's my thing. Thing though, right now I'm like a YouTube stand, right? You feel me? Like I see. I see the progression always, like even with like DDG and Solomonati, where they yeah. start rapping and they really don't really like fuck with the content no more. Or are you gonna say, yo, like fuck this like YouTube shit pretty soon and just do like the no, straight no, rap shit? No, 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 no. Wanna mm -hmm. know why? Because no. I know I can't rap. Damn. <laughs> two, I feel like you. Okay, I could say two people yeah. who successfully made that transition. Yeah, DDG, DDG, and Queen Nigel, in my mm -hmm. opinion, mm -hmm. from YouTube to. Music. Mm -hmm. Those are the only two, in my opinion. I might be missing. I don't know. I'm not. If, I, if I'm missing somebody, I'm. Not, I don't know. I, I don't know trade. too much. I'm on a trade. They be doing anything too. Yeah. But in my opinion, DDG yeah. and Queen Niger made a nice transition. I know I wouldn't do it just because that's not me, bro. Like mm -hmm. I just, I'm, I'm gonna stick to what I know. I'm gonna stick to what I do, and I feel like it's looked at as like, okay, now this nigga doing anything. You feel what I'm saying? But it, it's not like the same exactly. And I don't. When, and I don't like the music industry. When, when you look at Cardi B. We were watching her on Love and Hip Hop, watching her do Instagram like skits and little though. videos, yeah, and then she, but she managed to take all that energy and effort and turn it into a really successful music career, which nobody thought that she was going to be able to right do. Now. And that, like, even though she wasn't like a content creator in terms of like setting up the camera and sitting there and making mm -hmm. a YouTube video, I feel like if she was born five, six, seven years later, she would have definitely been doing that. Mm -hmm. And like. I mean, she kind of proved to me, like, oh, you could be a funny person on the internet and turn into, like, a big-ass rap star. Because it was very dry for that for a long time. You know, that's good. That's good that she started off like that, though. Because mm -hmm. that means she's more comfortable on camera and knows what the fans like and stuff like that. I feel like mm -hmm. when you're strictly an artist, you kind of got to learn that on the way. Like, like it, like it, like the interaction with artists be, like, so, like, dry, like, like some of them, but like it just be like, cause they that's not really them. They just know music. You feel what I'm saying? So mm, yeah. for her, like that was that's a good. Cause I was watching him tell rappers that they fucking suck. And yeah. Oh my god, I've that seen shit was that. so yeah, I did that good. Like two years, like two, three years. And now how many like, episodes oh, did you wave do? Now. Huh? How many episodes that did you do? Like two. Oh, cause I only saw the one with Sun and Gambino and I did, Dusty. I did, no, I, did no, I did Stunner, wait. I did Stunner and Dusty, and I did Tusi. Yeah, I kind of felt like yeah, Dusty was in on it. Like I felt yeah. like he no, would have. No, I felt I, like he would have been more mad you know if, he, if he didn't. Know. Okay, the thing about those type of videos, bro, is that I, that's why I couldn't do it for no more longer. <laughs> you I know knew, who you are. Yeah. I, I knew it was gonna be like because Tusi, he watched. I knew it was over mm. because Tusi, he seen the past one. It mm -hmm. was my first part. Like I, I didn't go nowhere with this shit. Mm -hmm. So he seen the he seen the first um he seen the first part and was like. He, he reversed it on me mm -hmm. by pulling out a gun. He put out a gun. He, didn't, he made sure not to point it at me or nothing. Right. But he put out a gun 
And he, he told me, like, yo, I got you, nigga. Like, I seen this shit. And I was like, damn, because I'm, I'm heavy on, like, having that shit be as authentic as mm -hmm. possible. Yeah. And I was like, damn, like, I can't do it no more. Were you worried for a second that Stunning Gambino's uh, manager was going to beat the shit out of you? No, his manager's actually cool as fuck. He's like, I'll see you outside after this. <laughs> I was like, I think, what the no, fuck? No, I think, I think it was Dusty, probably. Uh, and shit. I, I don't think, think it was Stunner. St St no, because you were no, saying no, no, all that shit to Stunner gave me no, and his Stunner. manager came out. Oh yeah. yeah, his oh that was his man's. I thought you, I think you, I'm talking about. Oh, right. I think you were talking about his manager. Oh, but okay. his manager there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like, man, I was like, scared though. But were you yeah. worried for a second? Because nah, 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 you nah. always know you could just say, <laughs> right, it was a prank. Nah. But like, isn't there a chance <laughs> that they're not gonna believe shit, you? Shit, they hood niggas. They bro, I just be and when I'm in that mode, bro, like. I'm in that mode. I'm not worried about nothing and stuff like that. But yeah, I can't believe that. I was a minute ago. I ain't gonna catch. It's weird stuff. watching you tell rappers that their shit sucks because you know that some of them like are not really sure or they kind of think that their mm -hmm. shit sucks. Like, yeah. like I feel like to see somebody who's like mega confident, he knows his shit is fire. Yeah. But when I was watching you tell Stunna Game, you know that he's trash. I'm looking yeah. in his eyes like, damn. Like, yeah, he, he really know what he's to say, so right? He's so young that he doesn't even really you know like crazy? know if he's dope yeah. or not. Bro, Stunna is nice, bro. Yeah, I mean, his, his shit is cool, he's but like, nice. he's super. He's good. not like so established. That you can't say shit to him. I feel like yeah. Tusi is is dope enough yeah. that you could tell him he's trash. And he's gonna be like, oh, yeah, whatever, yeah. bro. Nah, bro. I feel I feel like Dusty Roller was probably probably like the one where I was like, cause like he was hilarious at that time though, right? And he was getting like mad flack for sounding like Pop Smoke, mm -hmm. right? So like he's probably like super like insecure about you know his music. So you know I feel like that was what, yeah. You know, but he really seems like a gangster, bro. That, shit was, that gangster. shit was so funny, bro. Nah, he's gangster, man. That shit was hilarious. Hey. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe. We just hit 200K. We're trying to get to 300K. Turn us up. Appreciate y'all. Let's go.